In 2019, I went to college, I went to sixth form, and it was the best two years of my life. I made the most incredible friends, and I really felt like I found myself. When I turned 18, it was time to say goodbye to all of my friends and all of my family. I moved away from home, and I moved to uni. And that is where everything changed. The time that I spent at university was interesting to say the least, and I did document the entire six weeks that I was there, but then I posted this YouTube video. Basically, I'm leaving. It feels like moving day all over again. I am leaving university today. And here I am today. I have decided that I want to become the main character. see main characters do is journal or write in a diary basically we always see a way of them physically writing down how they're feeling or things that have happened in their day and stuff like that i actually journal quite a lot anyway it's kind of part of my day-to-day -day routine my journal is a diary but it's also just a brain dump basically anything that is on my mind anything that i want to write down i just pop it in there there's just something about physically writing something down like on paper in a book in a journal whatever you choose that just makes it seem way more personal so one of the things that i do quite a lot when i'm journaling is something called a little over five facts most of the time they're not even facts about myself that i'm writing down they're just little things that maybe i'm thinking about or just random things that come to my head or sometimes things that that I feel like I need to somehow get out so I just put it down on paper. I call it a little over five facts because I always give like five as my minimum if that makes sense. It's actually quite like therapeutic. We always see like main characters write about their feelings in their diary or their journal or whatever and I'm definitely trying to journal more which is a good thing. It's really lovely weather today and I thought that I would come outside, sit in the garden and read a bit of my book. Also, I apologise if you can A, hear the wind and B, hear the main road. Earlier today, I started reading Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. I read Hopeless yesterday. This is the sequel. This is from Holder's perspective. I've read 10 chapters and I'm about a third of the way through. So I hope that I'm going to finish it by the end of the day. There's just something so peaceful about reading in the garden. I don't know what it is. It's like when it's really, really nice weather it's like i just want to do this all the time i think it's just the setting of like my garden it's just really sunny and this book oh my goodness i literally can't put into words how good it is this is now like one of my favorite series that colleen hoover's done i went to go and watch the sunset last night with my friend ellie which you'll see a little bit later in this video but we were both literally saying that we could quite easily just go and sit in that massive field and read for hours just watching the sunset like it was so weird i've just never experienced anything like that before i've never really paid enough attention to like it's gonna sound ridiculous but i guess like the world which i know that sounds really weird but i'm definitely gonna do that at points like in this summer i'm just gonna go sit in that field and read a book if you haven't read any books by colleen hoover what are you doing the hopeless series is one of my new favorites if you need book recommendations just dm me on instagram like i'll give you a whole list i'm gonna continue reading my book i'm so excited I mean, I just know that the next part of the video is gonna go terribly wrong, really, but we're gonna give it a go. No, seriously, I don't know how. Technically, it's not skateboarding, it's a penny board. Oh, hell no, I'm not running, we're changing. We're changing, we're going downhill. Apparently, this doesn't work. Oh, no! <laughs> I mean, right, that's the end of this section of the video, guys, and let's move on to the sunset. Oh my god, Ellie, this is exactly what I had in mind. So we're currently in a field and we just had some pizza and we're watching the sunset. Main character vibes. This is Ellie, by the way. Hi. Ellie is my best friend. And honestly, we're just living our lives, um, living our best lives. Yeah. It's so, so beautiful. It's actually on my bucket list. Like I did 22 goals for 2022. Mm -hmm. And one of my goals was to either watch the sunset or watch the sunrise. 
Should I watch the sunrise? I mean, we can. Just wanted to come in and do a little update. I mean, you would have seen that we have been doing montages the entire time. Look at my jeans. We're just having a good time, getting some cool photos, cool videos. Um, yeah, main character vibes. It actually really is as well. Like the sun is so orange in front of us. Bearing in mind it's April, it's not even summer in England yet. Like really, it's still spring. When you look at the sun, you can actually see the circle. And then like when you look away, you can still see the circle. It's just so pretty. Massive main character vibes. You definitely need to do this at some point in your life. It's beautiful. Bye. Bye. <laughs>